Hey everyone, this is Paul from Orthoid Valpal. With me I have Kira. Kira is 16 years old. We're going to talk about the common signs and symptoms of an ACL tear. Um, approximately two weeks ago, Kira was playing basketball. She went to stop quickly and her knee buckled while her foot was planted. And that is probably the most common episode or incident of how that happens. People who tear their ACLs rarely ever tear it when the foot is not planted on the floor. All right. The next thing we're going to notice is how she walks. So I'm going to ask Kira to go ahead and walk down this way five or six steps. And we'll have you turn around. Notice the left knee is kind of flexed. She has a hard time straightening it out. So the next thing we look at is, I'm going to have you lie right down on your back. So when the ACL tears, it causes swelling inside the joint. Whenever there's swelling, the knee automatically goes into this bent position. Actually, we're a couple weeks now, but when she first came in, it was flexed about here when she was walking. So it was pretty considerable. She's doing a great job at letting that leg come down. As a result of having this swelling, this quad muscle starts to shut down, so she has difficulty tightening that up. So go ahead and tighten that muscle for me. And you can see it's kind of shaky. She has a little difficulty, but it is much better than it was a week ago. Um, the other thing that you're going to notice is a significant amount of swelling in her knee right here. It's very puffy. Most people who tear their ACLs have a positive brush test. And with her, it's going to be difficult to do because she has so much swelling in there where we rub the inside and then we push the back side and then it causes more swelling here. But because hers is so full, you're not gonna notice the typical positive brush test. Okay, take a look at her motion. Let's bend the knee as far as you can. And it feels full, right? Yep. Okay, so when you have that swelling in there, it's hard to get it bent all the way. It's hard to straighten it all the way. So you'll have a little loss of motion in each position. And then, the way we confirm this ACL tear is that we have the patient relax. We're going to do a Lockman test. So it's very important that they kick back and just let me do all the work. We flex them to 20, 25 degrees of knee flexion, holding the femur. Then we take that tibia and we do an anterior shift here. And you can see that is a positive Lockman test. There's no endpoint and there's an excessive amount of anterior play of the tibia on the femur. So um, we're gonna be uh, lining her up for surgery. We're doing some prehab right now to get this swelling down number one so that she can have a better quad set. And we're working on lower extremity control, optimizing extension, and slowly starting to work on balance uh, before surgery. So thanks Kira for demonstrating for us today and I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. If you did, um, give us a thumbs up, thanks.